Balcony TV. You're watching Balcony TV Exeter with VisitExeter.com. This week we are absolutely delighted to welcome Disraeli. Hey man. Yeah, I'm good man. Bit morning-ish. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, feeling good. Still fairly early. Got Great gig last night. Yeah, isn't it a fab spot? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are you going to play us? Uh, I'm going to play a track called Marvellous, which is the first track off my new EP, Eat My Camera. Go for it. A mirror, marvellous, and two new shoes, marvellous, a Kangeezus t-shirt, marvellous, and some YouTube views, marvellous. I bought me a man friend, marvellous, made whole out of gold, marvellous, and he never grows tedious, and he never goes old, marvellous. I bought me a mirror, marvellous, and a two-tone suit, marvellous, a silver chinchilla, marvellous, and a secret side boom. I bought me a mirror, marvellous, and a thoroughborn hound, marvellous. A merry-go-round and a round and a bit to forever go round, marvellous. I bought me a brick of a house in London, well, I promise of a brick, marvellous. A grandkiddy of my grandkiddies, grandkiddy will still pay for it, marvellous. But I bought me a mirror, marvellous, and a cellophane wing. So really give a frig what you're telling me, mister. I can do anything, 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 anything. 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 Hey, Jim got stabbed for a packet of Rizzler. John got shot for a packet of seeds. Cindy slipped through cracking a picture. Didn't see the crows sat in the trees. But it's easy when you know. Hey, how does money run? Hey, I said it's easy when you know. I thought you were going to swing with the sound of the, the rubbish hit van in the back there. Yeah, I was. A li <laughs> little, little harmony, incidental yeah, was, harmony. Yeah, yeah. That was well, John Cage. That was. <laughs> yeah. Just fantastic. That worked really well last night at the gig as well. Everyone's bouncing back at you. Marvellous. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, getting the audience involved. It's all about. Th this tour is a lot about, um, and, and the concept of the new EP, Eat My Camera. The idea is like swim through the lens to the substance, like break down the wall between audience and performer. Um, between yourself and the moment sort of thing so yeah this is great doing it in a place like this yeah 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 because yeah. i mean you know people in this neck of the woods anyway are going to be really familiar with the small gods yeah. you know your previous band so did you did you find it harder to actually sort of get that connection when you were working with with with, with the guys behind you or is it easier to make that connection well, when you're on your own um yeah i mean i think definitely i think any performance is a uh, is a conversation between the performer and the audience and i think when the conversation is um when, when there's a, more people in the conversation, then it's harder to get the the, the single thing heard. So, uh, I mean, you know, the, the the small gods are an incredibly talented bunch of musicians, and I I was totally honoured to work with them for six years. Yeah. This is just something very different, and uh, I'm really excited by that novelty and yeah. the fact. That but the message is the same, isn't it? You know, you you you, you the, the the colours of what you were saying last night again. You know, you're varying from from love songs to songs about death. To yeah. stuff that you're really fucking angry about, do you know yeah. what I mean? A, a real varied palette. Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. And and the one thing that's really nice about um, doing it intimate like this is that uh, everyone can hear all the words, yeah. and that's uh, obviously the thing I spend weeks working yeah. on. So it's yeah. good good yeah. to know that people can yeah. people are actually getting what I'm saying. Yeah. I was reading your blog. You're talking about music in the moment. You know, getting getting that sort of heartfelt connection. Yeah. You went to Senegal recently, didn't you? I did. Yeah, yeah I was, was that all sort of part and parcel of that because because they're really into that sort of spontaneous music in the moment. Well, I mean, you know, in 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 um, in Senegal, music is just a part of the the day to day life in yeah. a way that it, it I think it probably was here um, yeah. because you know before we had recorded with sort of folk traditions. Sort of thing, yeah, yeah, with the folk traditions, and before we had our you know easy access iPod docks, um, we had to sing to if, if we wanted to hear music, we had to make it. Yeah. And that still seems to be, um, you know, obviously they have computers and speakers and all this yeah, stuff yeah, in, in yeah. Senegal. Yeah. Um, that still seems to be very much a part of the culture. Um, 
everyone's a part of the music, everyone's a part of the culture, um, and as a result, there is more music everywhere. Yeah, yeah. a couple of brilliant videos. The guy with the balafon, yeah, the guy yeah. with, with a chora. Uh, yeah, really, really actually lovely. very similar yeah. to a chora, but not quite. It's um, oh, okay. called a Kamal Ngoni oh, from okay. Mali, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the guy with the Ngoni uh, watcher, I was very lucky, he was my next door neighbor in right. the place I was staying in Senegal. And uh, he is a brilliant musician. He's toured around Europe, played on festivals. So it's not as if like I just bumped into him in the shop. Yeah, I mean, okay. Um, but it still had that air of spontaneity about it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, you know, we, we used to play together every night round oh, his cool. round his fire in nice. uh, in Lovely. his garden in Senegal. So awesome. Yeah. So tell us about the EP then. It's out fairly. So it's not quite out, is it? It was available last night, but it's not actually on general release just yet. Yeah, that's it. It's um not actually going to be released till mid to late May. Okay. Um, there is an impact date. I think it's the 15th of May, actually. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm selling it on tour at the moment. So yeah, if people want to come get it, come yeah, on the tour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it will, it will be out. And there's also another few videos out on the Dis MC Disraeli channel. Yeah. So um, yeah. similar to this, really. Um, yeah, sort of pop-up, sort of uh, backgrounds. of something on a marsh, wasn't there, somewhere? Yeah, basically, yeah. I've been living on a, uh, in a place called, place called Walthamstow Marsh yeah. for, in, in Hackney, in London, for the last three years. And... Um, all the songs in the EP were written there. Okay. Um, so all the videos that yeah. I've done for the EP are also filmed there. The idea being that you can't take the culture from its context. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it, it means most when it, when it is where it was made. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was think I was kind of drawing um, uh, comparisons with Andy Goldsworthy. I don't know whether you know the artist Andy Goldsworthy. Yeah. You know, he makes these fantastic pieces, takes an image of it, and then the piece just disappears. You yeah, know? And yeah. The image is the last thing. Thing is, it's, it's like yeah. a spontaneity, isn't it? You know? Yeah, exactly yeah. that, man. Yeah. It's, it's um, it's just about returning us to the moment and returning yeah. us to our context. It's sure. like yeah. we have this, this we're, we're so sort of connected to the void all the time. You know, we're, we're so connected to this kind of ethereal other world of the internet mm. and mm. and media. Um, and actually, you know, where where life is is here and now, and yeah. and the place you're standing. So, it's it's a little bit an attempt to try and return us to that. Yeah. More power to you, man. Fantastic. Thank you so the website is. Uh, Disraeli.com, D I Z R A E L I.com. Yeah. And cool. Facebook.com forward slash Disraeli, Twitter, MC Disraeli, all that stuff. Awesome. Well, you know, good, best of luck with the rest of the tour. I know it's over fairly soon, so by the time the show goes out, people are going to miss it. But uh, you're going to be doing more, obviously, during the year. Gig dates will come up on the website. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm not doing the festivals so much this year. No. I've, I've tended to do like between 20 and 30 festivals a summer for the last sort of 10 years. So I'm having a bit of a break from that this cool. year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there'll be loads more music coming. Um, I'll be putting an album out hopefully by the end of this year. So uh, yeah, keep looking out for that. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, man. Right. Brilliant. Yes. Disraeli, check him out. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to our venue, Samuel Jones. We'll see you next week. Balcony TV Exeter. Balcony TV.